Hello, Francesca here, coming to talk to you about the Colour Potential cards again. Now, do you have a decision to make? Are you finding it difficult to make this decision? Are you at a fork in the road and you don't know which path to take? Well, we have a card for each path. So we're going to see what they have to say and whether it'll help you make the decision. I was taught a long time ago that if you have a difficult decision to make and you're obsessing and you don't know what to do and you're going one way or going the other, just let it go for a while, let it lie and see what comes up. See what signs you're sent, if you believe in signs, see what inner guidance comes up um, and just uh, let it be. So maybe this is a part of your letting it be, just waiting for a while. Um, I hope so. So let's see what we've got with card number one. And it is Yum Black Potency. Oh, the black cards. Oh, they're so good. They're so delicious. They're so rich. They're so deep. So potency. This path, the left hand path, it's about your potency. So potency is more than just power. It's about your possibilities and your power. If something is potent, it has an enormous potential to grow. So what I'm beginning to think is maybe this is a part of what is making you scared of making this decision because potency can be very scary. I don't know this at all. I've, I've, I've never been scared of my potency ever. No, never, uh-uh, no. Um, but uh, joking aside, it's a very, very powerful thing that can be a bit off-putting, can be quite scary. For me, it's the thought of everything running out of control. So what I'm suggesting with this one is that you just acknowledge that your potency is there, that part of making this decision is your potency is really going to come to fruition, it's going to start flowering, it's going to start spreading, it's going to start affecting other people, in a good way of course. All you need to do is acknowledge it's there, and it'll take some of the charge off it and it maybe give you a clearer idea of which path you want to take. So if this is speaking to you, all you have to do is say yes, this idea, this decision I make uh, may have potency within it and that's okay. And then you can just take very, very small baby steps. It doesn't have to be giant steps, just small steps. But just acknowledging it, acknowledging it and acknowledging that that's okay is going to make a big difference. Oh, well, if that's path one, what is path two going to be? Maybe it'll be another black card. Oh, yes. Is it? and it's receiving. Oh, colour coordinated today, I see. Oh, colour coordinated <laughs> all together. Yeah, perhaps I'll start dressing and see if the cars <laughs> can match what I'm wearing. Anyway, we've had receiving before, but I think it's a really important card. Um, many religions, Christianity included, teach that it is greater to give than to receive. I don't agree with that. I think if you give to somebody, you are holding the power. In order to receive, we have to give a part of ourselves. We have to be a bit vulnerable. We have to let it in. And that's why I think receiving is more difficult. And I think you can't have giving without receiving, so I don't think either is greater than the other. They're just a, a cycle that goes together. Hence, it's turquoise. So it's the two colours of the sea. It's green and blue. It's ebb and flow. And the thing about receiving is, I mean, I think all of us, I mean, certainly me, I need to practice it all the time. Uh, because the more you receive, the more life will give to you. Um, and I've really been having to practice it recently because an amazing uh, neighbour has been bringing us flowers every week. Now, I've always wanted a house that has flowers in it every week. Uh, but I found this very difficult to receive. And it goes along the lines of, oh, I've got to give back to her. I've got to give back to her, you know. Um, she's going to think I'm mean. She's going to think I'm grasping. 
it's very difficult for me to just let her give to me. So I've done a bit of baking, you know me and a bit of baking, but it's really, it's really practicing the receiving that I need to know. I'm, I'm being given something I've always wanted and I'm putting up barriers. Okay, okay. So is there something in this decision that you've always wanted and you're putting up barriers? Yeah, this is beginning to, to cook with gas now. How easy is it for you to receive? How easy do you find that? If you think of the last time life or a person, a friend, a complete stranger gave you something, how did you feel about it? Was that easy for you to receive? Did you immediately want to give back? How did you uh, respond to that receiving? Think of the sea, think of the ebb and the flow. Is this something to do with this path? Is receiving going to be a part of why you can't make this decision? So again, just as with this card, potency, sit with it, sit with receiving, sit with those colours just for a little while and feel it. Is this something that if you receive this, you are going to be overwhelmed? The more I think about it, these are both quite similar, but very different. They're both about, um, are you going to be overwhelmed by making this decision? So think. Receiving is always, always a good thing to do, always. You know, if somebody is giving to you, uh, receiving is always a good thing to do. Obviously, I'm, my mind's going, not if it's what they're trying to give you is something awful, uh, but let's just assume they're trying to give you something nice or life is trying to give you something nice. Receiving it, taking it in, taking it in, letting the sea waters uh, flow over you. Okay, that is quite, that is quite mysterious reading actually. Um, I hope that's, I hope that's spoken to you. Okay, so potency for path one, receiving for path two. Sit with both of them and see if the decision becomes easier. It may just be the next step on you taking your decision path. Uh, but it, hopefully this will have moved you on somewhat. Let me know, let me know um, if this has helped in any way. Always love to hear your comments. And thank you for joining me in colour.